there are many couples I work with and they are okay until there's a stress. And as soon as they unravel completely, and but I they weren't say, really okay, right? They That's weren't okay. They were just kind of getting by, going along, exactly. So, it, it's specific to relationships, and then we'll go back because you kind of fast forwarded to relationships, and we'll just talk about emotional intelligence for each person. But in relationships, it's really knowing your partner's history past before you were in the picture, right? It's knowing their what hurts them, what upsets them, where their pain lies, because you know what happened to them in the fifth grade, or you know what kind of house they grew up in, and the things that they dealt with and how they feel about it today. You also know current things like, you know, on Tuesdays, they bring, you know, their favorite donuts to the office, and or you know where the bathroom is in that building, or whatever it is, because you are in each other's worlds. For couples who don't have this, they're the disengaged couple. They're a couple who any stress, anything external, anything new added to the relationship that is a point of maybe a conflict or stress derails them. So it's not really an option to be in a successful relationship and not be emotionally intelligent. It is, in fact, a main ingredient. And I would say that that should apply for friendships and family as well.